guys, welcome back to my channel. This is for another review of Insecure, and this is season four, episode seven, Loki Driven. So this episode, we get an insight of Molly. This is all. This episode was all about Molly. So we flip perspectives. The episode starts off with Molly at the Ethiopian spot that Issa went to at the end of last episode. So. Molly actually sees Issa come up to the door and get out of the car. And then, you know how, like, you try to avoid looking at somebody, so she, like, looks at her phone. But then as she looks back, she noticed that Issa is getting in the car. Well, before then, she was like, oh, here we go, like, with an attitude. So, like, you was already on defense mode, just about to be negative. But then she sees Issa gets back in the car, and she's just like, I know she did not just get back in the car. And she's like saying, um, like Issa was the one she's supposed to be coming in there kissing her behind. Like, no, sweetheart. No, sweetheart. I still feel like Molly should have apologized. Now, had Molly, I'm, I'm going to flip it. Now, had, had Molly took her like the day after the event, two days after the event, something like that, and not just, y'all, they popping firecrackers so much sorry and didn't excuse my hands i'm giving nails that's right but had molly taken Issa the day after or whatever and had a conversation with her and told her how she felt about her going behind her back to get the artist then maybe but the fact that you like literally almost like literally ruined her event because you were being selfish Issa don't need to apologize moving on so molly gets back to her apartment or his apartment i think it's her apartment and she brings the food but clearly she's upset and you know andrew asks you know what is wrong with her and then she's gonna say oh Issa ran away like i was some job like i was an actual job i don't know i took that as a little shade because you know Issa doesn't have the traditional job and um Maybe it's just me. Comment down below if you thought that was a little shady the way Molly said that. And then Andrew asked, well, are you going to apologize? And she was like, no, it's Issa's fault. And he kind of made like one of them like sounds like, yeah, I don't know. Like it might be your fault, but <laughs> he didn't say that. And they kind of moved on. So they're getting ready for their little vacation, going to Mexico and then, you know, Molly always has a lot of stuff for work. So she does get an alert um, that she has a meeting right before their flight. So she has to go into the office and almost misses her flight to Mexico, but she makes it. But wait, so Molly is rude this season. And I'm not here for it. So her reception, I mean, like her secretary, assistant, whatever, she comes up and she's just like here's the work papers and molly is just like why am i the last one to know about this all these things and the girl's like you know i apologize it was my mistake she's like i don't pay you to be dumb oh you don't get paid to make me look dumb i said okay ike okay ike i'm gonna find your ass so they get on the plane and they're in like a i guess the premium plus so it's a little nice and who is sitting Across from them is no other than Kim Fields. I love her. Um, and she be making her way into these shows, okay? And I'm here for it, Miss Director. But she's basically, she goes by the name Mabel. Y'all hear this? <laughs> Sorry, like it's making me mad. Because uh, it is 1043 p.m. Name made me lose my train of thought. So basically, she's like, oh, are y'all going to Mexico too? And they were like, yeah, everybody's going to Mexico. And she said, well, some one time I got on the wrong flight, just like I got on the wrong marriage. Um, and she basically was like, I think they were married like 20-something years. And she's like, I'm reclaiming my time, basically. Like, I'm going to get all that time back. I wasted with that man, okay? And then she gets up and, like, starts crying, like, basically being a little psycho. Um, then, you know, Andrew... You know, they get a little freaky on the plane. They talk about the things that they are bringing, but they're, it's a surprise. But baby, Andrew starts fingering her. 
on the plane. So they being a little spontaneous. Um, they're meeting up with his brother and his wife. And then I cracked up because maybe they had found in Latoya in Spanish. And Molly says she is internationally lost, clearly. Um, I did want to say Molly has gotten on my nerves all season. And she still kind of got on my nerves this episode. But baby, Molly was serving the fashions, honey. Molly was serving us body down. I do give her that, okay? And I used to like Molly. I'll talk about it at the end of the video. Um, so this whole time, Molly has been bragging about the surprise she brought for their vacation. And so she pulls out some cute little lingerie and some body oil. And so Andrew is just like, um, where's the rest of it? And he was just like, and she was like, what? <laughs> and, you know, meanwhile, Andrew done pulled out the whole Adam and Eve store. And if you know, you know. And, you know, she kind of felt like, then she gonna say, man, I knew I should have got that feather that was on sale. Baby, sis, lighten up. Let loose, honey. Let your hair down. Um, They're getting, so then they talk about being spontaneous. So they start having sex on the balcony. Then they're getting ready for their hike. And then Miss Mabel, Kim Fields, comes running down like, you know, oh my God, like just being crazy. And um, talking about, I'll see y'all at dinner. Baby, guess what? I'm not going to another country to go run up a mountain. I'm not. It, it's one thing to like, let's go hiking. But for me to, and there was like three months. I didn't go on vacation to work out. Like, I did feel Molly. Molly was kind of like, yeah, yeah, I ain't really feeling this. But she did it. Um, They get up there. And, you know, it's a beautiful sight. And Molly is like, how are we getting down? And they are ziplining. And I, that's something I do want to do on my next trip. Like, that is something I want to do. Um... I like doing stuff. Well, I'm scared, but I still want to do it. I feel like it's like a freeing thing, like doing um, jet skiing in the middle of the ocean in Bahamas and nothing is around you. Your girl was freaking out, but it was fun. It was a liberating experience. Um, So they're back at the hotel room. Nathan calls Andrew to, um, Nathan had been calling Andrew. So Nathan, Andrew had like three missed calls from Nathan. And so he calls him back and Andrew is basically like, I can't get the garage open. And he's like, well, do whatever. So then you hear Issa in the background. And I just had a feeling that, like, Issa was going to be there. So Issa's in the background. And of course, they made Molly, like, they made Molly tighten up. Um, And Molly says, again, she didn't want to, like, when he showed her who he was the first time, you know, Issa don't Issa only wants things to be messy or something like that just trying to throw shade at Issa saying that she likes things messy okay and you do too like you like to fuck shit up so there's a balance she likes her relationships to be messy and do crazy stuff you like to ruin things so who's wrong I'll wait y'all ain't got to say that in like I be telling my students, I wait. I ain't got to stay there in so long. <laughs> um, and Andrew basically says, you know, when he first started talking to Issa, well, when Nathan first started talking to Issa, he was going through some mental health issues. And, you know, that kind of shut Molly up. Like, like shut up. Like, you don't know 100% of what's going on. So that was insightful. And she's like, what does Issa know? And he was like, I don't know, basically, like, that's their business. We're here. Like, we're going to enjoy ourselves. So then she got some feeling like gorgeous lingerie. And she blindfolds Andrew. And then basically, they said they exchange words. And then she gets on top of him about to ride. I can ride your face. Anyway, it says, you're going to eat this booty like groceries. And she sits her behind on his face and guess what he do he eat that booty like groceries okay Andrew we see you 
a lot of dudes do like don't 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 let your man tell you he don't because he, he do <laughs> um so then they're like at the beach pools or whatever and so water got in his brother's wife's face and so molly gets out of the water to go get a towel and there was a couple in front of her that was white and the lady never asked for their room key but when molly asked like hey can i get the towel she's like oh well you need your room key and molly's like well i don't have it you know and she's like well i can't help y'all get in trouble blah 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 like basically you can see there's racism like you just didn't ask these white people for their room key but now you want mine and you're giving me a hard time about it so boom here comes andrew's brothers like oh here's her room key she's at this room she gets this out of course I would have been mad too. Molly gets back in the water and Andrew can see something wrong with her. I love Andrew. He's so in tune. And I just really like Andrew. I hope she don't mess it up with him. And I hope he don't mess up. So then it, it freaking explodes. So Andrew brother basically asked um, Molly, like, do you think you're being overdramatic or do you think do you really think it's about racism? And she's like, what else could have been? What, what else could it have been? The white people in front of me didn't have a car. And they got their time with no problem. But baby, when I walk up, it's a whole issue. Like, I did feel that, like, some people do not like to see what racism is right there. Like, that was, is there. Like, we could, like, Ray Charles could have seen me. Stevie Wonder could have seen me. Helen Keller could have seen it. Like, they all could have seen it. Um, and he's like, well, I'm playing devil's advocate. Um, and, you know, Molly is like, y'all, he's like, you know, I don't, you don't feel like I get discriminated against. And Molly's like, you know, y'all only want to be a person of color when it's a benefit. But when shit go down, y'all, y'all scatter. And I feel like, Thank you, Issa, for putting that in here. Everybody wants to be a person of color, whether you're, you know, you you got some tint to your skin. You you want to be down, but when it's time, when you're going through the struggle, then nobody wants to go through that struggle. So you got to pick. Like if my skin is black, baby, I'm black all day. Like I can't, I'm not checking any other race. Like I can't escape my reality. So it's just like, yeah but i do applaud andrew like he gathered his brother like no you're wrong you need to chill out and it, it was just a lot and that's a lot to unpack like i do side with molly like i would have got pissed off too and i would i'm very vocal so i probably would have said how i feel like but then it kind of goes back to molly always fucking shit up <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know um and it kind of made me think back to when her and Issa was fighting and kind of the, the things that Issa would say to her throughout the season like Molly you always know how to mess things up you always know how to mess things up um so you know they go back to the room debrief it's the next day molly wakes up it's about almost like it's like 10 50 a.m in the morning and she went and she wakes up and andrew is gone so you know she's kind of looking i'm looking like i hope andrew andrew where you at but he comes in with some smoothies and you know he says hey let's just take it easy today and she's like you know i didn't want to you know make things bad with your brother he's like no i talked to him i told him he was wrong and i'm just Andrew, are you sent from heaven? Andrew, I like Andrew. I hope they make it. Um, and she asked, did I mess things up? Because, you know, Molly is always messing stuff up. So then it skips to Molly on the beach again, serving us down. And um, she calls her therapist and she states she hasn't called in a long time and wants an appointment. Then she has a hard time letting go. So then as they're in the airport, they see Miss Mabel again. Baby, Miss Mabel is making out with a whole, a whole man. A whole man. She said, 
day by day, she was getting back her 20 something years. And then Molly sees Lawrence and calls him over. And, you know, they had an awkward exchange. It was super duper awkward. She introduces him to Andrew. And then as they walk away, Lawrence takes out his phone and calls somebody. And it's just like, I've been thinking about you, boo. You free to get a drink? I say, y'all think he calling Issa? Comment down below if you think Lawrence called Issa. I don't want to see them. I'm so torn. Do I want to see them get together? Or do I want her and Nathan? Comment down below. Do you want Issa and Lawrence to get back together? Or do you want to see Nathan and Issa? What could come from them? Thank you for watching. Married to Medicine. I'll probably record that tomorrow. And watch it tomorrow. I really don't feel like doing it tonight. Make sure y'all like, share, and comment. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.